Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX, a B6 to exist, and we're going to the library to fight an optional boss. Hey, yay! All right! All right, I'm going to calm down now. Anyways, if you notice, there's a little book up here, and um, actually, before I do that, let's uh, switch some uh, some stuff around. Um, first of all, for order, let's put uh, everyone in the back row. Yes, this is this is true. We want everyone in the back row for reasons I'll explain when we get into the battle, and uh, for equipment here, let's see, that's fine, uh, anything else I can put on you for, let's see, let's do this, uh, let's see, you still have that, let's equip something better, let's go with, uh, where is it, there we go, yes, the Brigadine, so we can learn ability up, uh, I think we're good on everything else for him. Uh, Ice Lance is good. Let's go with the Cross Helm. And let's see, for Vivi, you're kind of just staying the same because we haven't had anything new for you in forever. Oh, we got a couple things, though. Let's go... Eh, well, let's go with that one. Ooh, I know what we want to do. For, uh... Amaranth here, we want to give him, where is it, three birth ring. If you don't have it, that's fine, but we want to equip it to him so we can he can have access to the revive ability, which is going to come in handy since we don't have a white mage and we're about to fight an optional boss. Um, Alright, and for abilities, let's see, we want to make sure we have, where is it, well definitely this, we don't need this or this, we want, oh he's got antibodies, so that's good, let's do return magic, just because... I'll explain some of that. Actually, we could actually give him a... I think we could get him to get a... Get that. Yeah, heck yeah, auto life, alright. But the main thing you want for this battle is, um, whatchamacallit, antibody. That's the only thing you really need to worry about. And if we can find it, there we go. There we have bandit, good stuff. Do you have antibody equipped? You do. Is there anything else? I'll give this to, sure why not. And you have, alright. So, for this thing, you want antibody, and you want everyone in the back row. And, uh, if you can, Amaranth with the revive ability. So, those are the main points. Now, if we check... I think it, actually, I think we have to... Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. Good. You get out of here. And let's talk to this book. I hear someone talking. Uh, let's try and listen to it. Challenge me if you dare. Okay. Sounds like a perfect idea. By the way, you can fight this boss last time we were escaping from Alexandria, which was uh, back in Disc 2, when, um, the heck, it's a giant book. Anyways, it was back in Disc 2, and before we fought Zorn and Thorn, and then there was like, that time limit going on and everything, um, you can fight this guy then. And yeah, that's that. Of course, I don't like doing that because, um, one, your party's weaker and this guy isn't, and two, you have a time limit, which I'm just not a fan of, so. Let's do a racist rend. And this guy's got doom. How fun. Uh, let's focus. Keep attacking with Amrit for now. Doom is gonna kill your guys after that counter is done. I don't believe... I think Remedy might get rid of it, but I'm not sure on that. I guess we could try out. Try it out. But that's one of the main reasons you want to have Amrit with Revive, so you don't keep having to use uh, Phoenix Downs to uh, counteract this Doom status. And if you notice, our physical attacks aren't doing much. One, because we're in the back row. But there's a specific reason that we want to be in the back row, and that's because after we get to a certain point, we're not going to want to use any more physical attacks, actually. Uh, Vivi's about to die. Let's see... Let's have you attack, let's have you use... Let's see, does this get rid of Doom? Well, that doesn't help me at all. I guess we'll find out. Uh, is it gonna rid... Is it gonna get there in time? Oh no! Oh, are you serious? He dies right as I use it on him? God dang it. Oh well, he's dead now. What we want to do is, for now, we're gonna keep attacking him until we reach a certain page. And, uh, something's going to happen when that happens, so let's, uh, let's see. Revive. Amrit's gonna be kind of our, a, uh, our white mage at the moment. Let's see, page, I don't, I believe we want him to get to page 150-something. So, we're gonna have to keep attacking him until we get there. 
All right, Vivi's back in back in the action. Good stuff. And I'm not too concerned. This guy doesn't have that much, uh, that many great attacks or anything, so I'm not too concerned about all of that. But uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we're almost there. But yeah, he doesn't have. I don't even know what I was talking about. He doesn't have too many good items, but you still want to. I'm just kind of stealing this item for something to do, I guess. Let's try and heal Vivi a little bit. Freya's about to die, so I'm not going to worry about her. And there we go. Uh, maybe I'll switch attacking to Zaiden now. Let's see, let's do High Potion on Vivi. Oh wait, no. Not High Potion on Vivi. Let's just attack with Zaiden. Alright. Eh, not too bad. Uh, actually, let's do... Phoenix Down. Alright, page 120. Almost there. Slowly making our way. Again, we want to get to around page 150. And that's when something special is going to happen. Chalk of Freya. Actually, I probably should have just high ah, Or not. Okay. Let's attack again. And miss. The main thing with this guy is kind of just surviving until, uh... You can get him to until you get him to page 150. This, by the way, is um. Let's see. Let's revive Freya. This is a. I think it's a reference back to Final Fantasy 4 or 5. There's one enemy in one of those games that um was like a book, and I think it was called like page 150 or something like that. So this, yeah, this is kind of a big reference to that. Uh, let's attack. And let's revive. Wait, did it miss? Awesome. Well, that works out well. Ah. Alright. What are we at here? Page 160, or... Okay, good enough. I've been found as a giant blue dude with demon horns. At this point, we want to stop using physical attacks uh, altogether. Because if you do... Then he's gonna. F then the pages are gonna flip again, and you're gonna lose this dude, which is the actual boss. This is who we want to be attacking. And now that he's in this form, he's gonna start casting poison a lot. But since we all have antibody, that's not gonna matter. So now we're gonna switch over. Let's uh, get another racist wind up, and we're basically gonna have Vivi just keep casting bio spells against him. And I guess we could steal still with Zaiden. I think we still have some stuff we can steal from him at least. Um. We don't really have anything else. Let's chakra ourselves so we can get some MP back. Yep, we still got some stuff to steal. And yeah, so once we've gotten here, we're pretty much home free. Bio's kind of your best option because it's Vivi's best spell. And he doesn't have any kind of weaknesses or anything that you can exploit. So none of that. What do we got here with Dragon? Uh, not much. So yeah, now <laughs> the rest of our party kind of becomes useless. Alright, let's, uh, let's just defend. And let's Chakra Vivi to keep his MP up. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna poison me. But yeah, again, um, I keep, I'm only using magic, but because if I actually physically attacked him, he would switch to a different page, and then we'd have to start the process of finding him all over again. So, you don't want that happening. More bio spells. I'll probably edit out some of this battle since it's kind of boring. But uh, we'll see here. Steal more. This guy has about 10,000 HP, I believe. So yeah, we're taking we're taking good chunks out of his out of his whatever. We're doing some good damage, but all right, let's chakra Vivi again. Steal. And more bio spells. This guy isn't gonna get poisoned from bio, but oh well. It does good damage, so good enough for me. Alright. And still alive, huh? Let's chalk her. Oh, or maybe not. See ya. Oh wait, no. I think he's just gonna hide again. Okay, stupid. Alright, and this is what's gonna happen. Even, uh, I've forgotten about this actually, but after uh, attacking him a while, uh, even if you don't use physical attacks, he's gonna hide back in his book again. 
And as you see, we're gonna have to find him on his page again. So, let's keep attacking here. Maybe we can speed up the process a little bit. Uh, let's go another chakra. Hello? Oh, we went out of trance. Alright, that's fine. We didn't really need it anyways. Okay, 140. Okay, one more attack should do it. We'll keep Vivi prepped, prepped to go here. Another paper storm, huh? I think our racist's wind ran ran out. Let's uh let's put that back up. Yep, sure enough did. Alright, what page are we at? 160, okay, cool. I've been found! It actually might be just like it goes on set pages every time. Like the pages it goes to are always the same. Alright, let's keep uh bio in the sky. And still couldn't steal anything, surprising. Ha! Ah, poison. What are you gonna do with poison? That's Chakra Freya. And you can just wait around. So yeah, not too hard of a boss. It just kind of takes a while. Oh yeah, look at that damage. I've actually become more of a fan of VV focusing. I have to say, I, I like never really used it, but I'm using him more, it, more in my strategies now, and it's actually working out really well. Imagine that. An ability that actually is useful. Who knew? Alright. Let's see. Let's chalk ourselves. Actually, probably should have gone for VD, but this guy might be dead soon. Or not. That's cool, too. More stealing! Alright. And still poisoning, huh? Yeah, I think that's the only move he really does when he's in this form, is poison, so... if you, As long as you have antibody on everyone, you'll be fine. Alright, let's Chakra Vivi this time. And... dead? Maybe? Yep, alright. Optional boss down. There's not too many of them in this game, but he's one. I think there's actually only like two of them. Now that I think about it. And so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Amrit learned Revive. Cool stuff. And we get for this battle the Running Shoes. Very rare and very awesome. They'll teach the ability Auto Haste. In my opinion, one of the best abilities to have in the game. You are worthy. Indeed, we are. Again, if you decided you wanted to try and fight him um, earlier when we first were dealing with Alexandrian stuff, you could, and then you could get the running shoes at a really early point, as well as a nice chunk of experience, but I just decided I didn't want to, because I hate dealing with time limits. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, under attack, buddy. You should kind of get out of here. How did he not notice? Jeez. Alright, let's, uh, let's explore around a little bit. I do believe we can actually talk to people and rescue them. So, uh, yeah, you probably should. That'd be a good idea, I think. Um, she's kind of saving your butts, so no, she hasn't. Alright. What are we at for time? Um, we'll keep going a little bit, since I'll probably cut some of that episode out, or some of that battle out. Alright, what do we got in here? Anyone? No. Let's go check out the chefs, then. There might be some chefs left. Make sure they don't, uh, fry along with their food. Uh, uh, oh, that was really bad. Hello? Is anybody in here? Oh yeah, look at them all. Yipe! <laughs> the Onion Meister. I love their names. Yipe! Yipe! Oh, that's all you're gonna say? Oh, there's one more. Oh, okay. I guess he was waiting for his buddies. How nice. And there's nothing in here we can find, so... Poo on that. Let's head this way, then. And through the hallway. Uh, anyone out here? Probably not. Yep, it's deader than a doorknob. And back here is actually the save Moogle. And you know what? I think I'm going to end it here, because this is just a, a really nice place to, to end it off, I think. So, thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the crazy final, or not final, but optional boss that we fought. And uh, join me next time when we uh, continue, uh, while we find Dagger and Ico and see what they're up to. See you guys then.